Hi, I'm Billy Back the Third, and this is BB3 TV. And we're here at BB3 Training Center um, with Katie today. Hello. Give it up, Katie. Whoop. Yep. She has been recruited to do the Infuego leg workout. Infuego is Espanol for on fire, because that's what this area. It's gonna happen. Yeah, it's about to happen. <laughs> yeah. So real yeah. simple, we're not using any weights. So you can do this anywhere. That's what we like to give you in these segments, is simple things you can do anywhere, no excuses. So first thing, split squat. So this is just a stationary lunge. We're gonna do five slow reps. By slow, I mean three seconds down. Go ahead. And three seconds up. Keep doing that. And one thing that really makes a difference is if you consciously contract the muscle. So you're squeezing, I won't hit you in the butt, but you're squeezing here, you're squeezing there, you're squeezing there, Every, everything is tight. Once you get to five, you're gonna stay on the same side and then you're gonna do yeah, and stay right here and do 15 fast. So go right to here, quick. Two, three, four, five. That's perfect, keep going. Keep making sure you're counting, because I'm not. There you go. Go, 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 go. You're not, yeah. And, and let's go ahead and do the other side right away. No, perfect, nice and slow. Five slow, three down, three up, then 15 fast. That's the formula for success here. Now let's say this is easy for you. I would always do the first round body weight just to get your body ready. And then you can just hold dumbbells. You can add that in. You can even do this on a Smith machine if you're into bodybuilding or something like that. Also works. Knocking out 15. Starting to burn yet? Yep. All right. That's All right. what I'm talking about. Now, now you're doing slow squats. You want to go down as far as you can, pain free range of motion. Come up, squeeze. Perfect. Yeah, don't lock your knees though. So come down. So there you go. But she, you're consciously contracting the muscle, right? Perfect. Now instead of doing them fast, what we're going to do is we're going to do jump squats. The important part in a jump squat is you land like a cat. So you don't land locking and then going down. I did five? Yep, you did five. Jump squat? Yep, now get up there. Jump as high as you can. There you go. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Get lower. Get lower, get lower. Then we're gonna hold an isometric. So I suggest praying, yes. Getting a little lower, right there, perfect. Now notice she's not leaning forward like a lot of people do. You're staying upright. If you have trouble and you have to lean forward, you'll lean against the wall. But this is perfect. Ideally 30 seconds. You feeling it? Yep. What are you feeling? Burn, it's burning. Burn, that's the good stuff. When it's burning, your body produces more growth hormone and that's the magic. Whoa. All right. Try it. Katie it Swift. That's what I'm talking about. Woo. Yep. Good job, girl. BB3. So this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna do if you're gonna do that, if you if you don't work out at all, go through it once. Assess how you're doing. If you work out on a consistent basis, you need to do at least three rounds of those. But if you are like hardcore, you want to take another level, add weights to it, do five rounds of that with resistance. And if you want to be really hardcore, start with say 25 pound dumbbells go all the way through it, then immediately drop down to 20 pound dumbbells, go all the way through it, immediately drop down to 15. You see where I'm going with this, right? See if you can go all the way down to fives and then just body weight, and that is, in, you'll be in incredible condition, and it works. So, don't talk about it, be about it. Get to it! Here at BB3, we got BB3 super trainer, Christian Melly. He can uh, do some crazy stuff, so let's see what he can do. Oh my god. What? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, 
I've been working in gym for 20 years now as a personal trainer and a coach. And you know, you see patterns. And one pattern I see, one huge mistake I see, and the reason why 95% of the people that start a program today will have failed either through frustration or injury within the next four weeks. With a terrible statistic, but a true one. And really what it comes down to is this global belief that no pain, no gain. There's some truth to that in that you must challenge your body to get it to change, to stimulate change. But you must not annihilate the body, you must stimulate it. And you must train intensely, but intelligently. And you know, at my training center, BB3, uh, we have a different way of looking at things. Anyone, any idiot can say go, and just not say stop for a long time and kick someone's ass. And a lot of personal trainers do that. They like take pride in getting someone sore. So like, oh, they couldn't even walk the next day. And that's not the goal. Like what is the client's goal and what's the best way, the most intelligent way to give them the right dose of work? Not just overwork them or kick the crap out of someone. Anyone can do that. And is that what they want? Do you, cause now they're not gonna enjoy the workouts. They're not gonna, they're gonna, they're gonna be buried and they're gonna be sore. It's gonna negatively affect other areas of life. They're gonna be trying to spend time with their kids and then their back sore, their legs are sore. So what do you do? Well, first of all, most people work out. What you need is a program. Because people will go on YouTube, and I know this video is on YouTube, but you know, go on YouTube and they'll do a workout. And these people that are in good shape, you know, will put a workout and you're like, oh, that's what I should do because I want to look like them. And it makes sense, but the truth is, that doesn't work. That's what I call a raw workout random ass whooping. It's random. And the chances of you getting results are random. They're Ugh. Odds are not in your favor, my friend. But if you have a program, a structured program that progresses over time, where you can measure your success over time, that you know you're getting stronger, you're improving your endurance, you're looking at some key metrics like your body weight, some girth measurements, I'd recommend taking from your upper thigh, your hips, your waist, uh, at the very least. And then I would also I would also look at some sort of body composition measurement, whether you use calipers on yourself or you get a, a different type of measurement. We have a in body at BB3 that measures hydration levels, but they're uh, about five to seven thousand dollars. So for your home, you could get a body metrics, anything like that. But just anything that you can consistently look at, then have a program, and it's just science. It's like, hey, I have a goal. I want to lose 20 pounds of fat by this date. Here's my plan. I'm gonna take these measurements, I'm gonna follow my program, I'm not gonna randomly work out, and then I'm gonna follow, and then I'm gonna measure again. And if I lost fat, fat, I maintained or added muscle, I'm on the right track. That program works. And then you but say it doesn't work, say you lost muscle. Now you gotta look at your nutrition, your nutrition program, the routine that you follow on a consistent basis, not some random eating pattern, but this consistent approach of a program, not random eating or workouts that you grab here and there or you rip out of a muscle magazine, an actual systematic program that will move you from point A to point B. And if you don't get to point B, how can you make modifications and move you forward? And that's what we do at BB3. That's why it's important to have a coach. Every great athlete, I work with tons of athletes and they have coaches. They have coaches all on with the teams they work with and then they hire me as a coach as well so that they have all this guidance so they don't waste any time because when the season ends and then they're going back, they have probably about 11 to 13 weeks of actual time to improve, to heal, build their body up and increase performance. It's not a lot of time, so you can't waste it. So you need a program, you need a strategy, you can't be random and I see it all the time. If you need a program like that, contact us. We'll hook you up. Or if hey, say you're you say you're just you just have questions, you know, post some comments, reach out to us on social media or some or uh, stop by the train center in in South Florida. We'd love to we'd love to help you out. But I'm telling you, you just can't be ran with stuff and man, I, it just breaks my heart to see see people in the gym every day not improving. Like you're dedicating time. Time you can't get back, man. Time is life. Like the richest person in the world can't buy back more time. So when you exchange your time for some, you should get results. You should, you should just show up at a gym to hang out. 
You know, that's what, you know, why I, I built my gym is because I watch people go in the gym. It's like a nightclub with a different dress code. You know, you need a place that's focused on the objective at hand. You come here, you want to change your life, you want to change your body, you want to feel better about yourself, you want to use fitness and eating right to improve all areas of your life, not to get the crap kicked out of you and feel sore and probably injured like most people, but a, something that improves all aspects of your life where you can go from living like a lamb to living like a lion. Thanks for watching this episode of BB3 TV. Be sure to head over to BillyBeck.com where you get some cool free stuff. Take it to the next level. Hey, you can even learn about eating clean. Get it? Eating clean? Ah, okay. Hey, hit the subscribe button too and share this video with your friends. We love you. Toodles.